what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology great to see you back again it's freezing snow here <laughs> finally the winter has descended and everybody not everybody some people have messaged me oh my god the winter has come i feel like as if i'm dying it's full snow here that is why i thought why not make the video on maraka houses yes 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 it's like death in some countries winter right therefore today's topic is on the maraka houses the second house and the seventh house why are they called maraka houses and what ex- actually does it mean does it mean that it is going to kill us or no <laughs> or it kills us in some other way that which we have not thought about of yet we will see to that okay and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here down the link below and if you want a personal consultation then please approach me in my website vedic renaissance and the link is there below all right and of course if you like this video then click the thumbs up at the end and share it with those people who are in doubt about the marka houses all right now before i start as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him now what are the marka houses if you read the brihat parashara hora shastra parashara muni defines there are two houses known as maraka houses all right which are those houses we have the second house and we have the 4 5 6 7 yes we have the seventh house so there are two houses the second and the seventh these houses are called maraka houses now maraka here does not mean that it is going to give you a lethal blow it's going to kill you it doesn't mean that see we have to understand who had written these scriptures all right parashar muni had written and whenever sages are saying something that this placement is good or that is bad we have to understand they are not only saying it from a material perspective they are also saying it from a spiritual perspective all right and if you check the original zodiac belt the kal purush kundli which starts from aries as the lagna you will see that the second house and the seventh house both the signs taurus and libra respectively are ruled by the supposed most benefic planet venus which means that the signs which are ruled by venus in the original kal purush kundli they actually become the maraka signs the maraka houses all right that means the planet venus itself is a maraka <laughs> as per this definition yes now the question is why there are many reasons the first reason is what's the second house second house is the house of family is the house of money is the house of responsibility yes so when the lagna lord which is you you have a look at the second house i am not saying that the lagna lord is placed in the second or the second lord is placed in the lagna i am not saying that what i am saying is when you go to take the responsibilities of your family all right and second house represents the entire resources which you have the family it represents your family before marriage then it also represents your family after marriage your relatives your friends your uncle aunt mother father everything all the combined valuable resources that you have if you value your guru then your guru will also come in the second house <laughs> individually they will have their own houses mother is the fourth house father is the ninth house guru is also the ninth house yes jupiter also signifies gurus then fifth house is your first child but when we say second house it represents all the combined assets and the combined wealth so wealth is something which you value that can be money or that can be relationships also right so that simply means that when taking responsibilities of your family many times people tell me that oh i feel like dying <laughs> because whatever you have with you everything you have to just give yes you are simply going on doing things for people who actually don't uh, have anything to do with your physical body right i mean you have to feed this body but your family members they are not part of your body of course you are connected to them through emotions and through 
love and romance, by emotions, by different beings, as friends, as having a, that friendly bond with your spouse, that love bond which you have with your father, that awe and reverence, your mother, that emotional comfort. But at the end of the day, when you have to take responsibility for them, all right, uh, in the Gita, it is said, Manashashthani Indriyani Prakriti Sthani Karshati. <laughs> Karashati, my God. Lord Krishna says that the living entity is foaming in the mouth when he is tirelessly working towards earning money. Because second house is also the house of money. So when you are taking responsibility of the family, all right, and wealth and resources, you are, you are headstrong. Because... Sixth house, tenth house, and second house are part of the Artha Trikon. Yes, the three houses which represents money and your hoarded assets, your wealth combined. So, in sixth house you work, and then in tenth house you have status. Depending on your status, your money comes. So, the more more the powerful is the tenth house, the more the powerful is the sixth house, and then. All of the money from the 10th and the 6th goes to the 2nd house where you have savings, alright. 11th house is generally the house of income and 6th house is generally the house of daily work and 10th house is your status. So, the more status you have, the more money you will have, right. That's the 10th house. So, whatever comes from the 6th, 10th and 11th, it will go to the 2nd house ultimately. So that's what Lord Krishna says in the Gita that Manashashthani Indriyani Prakriti Sthani Karsati Indriyas when fulfilling the urge of the senses, the mind, <laughs> the intelligence is bewildered and he has to work. Oops, Mercury is retrograde. I don't know when I'm making videos, people are just calling me. <laughs> anyway, so continuing the topic on the second house. So many people call me and tell that, oh my God, I'm maintaining my family. I feel as if it's like such a big burden for me. <laughs> I have to earn money for my child, for my mother, for my father. They are demanding so much money for my medicines. Then my child, his or her education is like, it's so costly these days, right? To put a person, a child into the school and then uh, it's like a big mountain, a truckload of responsibilities which you have. So in that what happens, sometimes you feel that you don't have any life. <laughs> you are just like a machine who, who is getting, uh, it's like that, na? you grind the rice, rice mill. <laughs> so you feel all these people, they are grinding you 24 hours. And then even within the family, there are so many conflicts sometimes, yes. You, you may have a difficult relationship if you are a wife with your mother-in-law, which happens in most of the places in India, and then the husband, your uh, your loved, most beloved husband, he becomes like uh, what you say na, in Hindi, chutney. He becomes like the sandwich. Should he listen to his mother or should he listen to you? All right. So this can happen. Or sometimes you may see your mother is telling something, then your father is telling this, then your wife is telling this, then your children is telling this, and then you have to become that... Uh, a sandwich in between if you are a male and then if you are a female suppose you are the wife in the family then suppose i always see this my mother always keeps telling me <laughs> i always become like a sandwich between uh, you and your father so my father will tell my mother he has to do this and then i'm like no no i'm not going to do it <laughs> Then she has to kind of balance. Na? Then she becomes the sandwich. Yes. So sometimes my, when my brother is married, sometimes when uh, my sister-in-law, she will say something. Na? And then my mother says something. Then my brother becomes like the sandwich. He's like, should I listen to my wife or should I listen to my mother? <laughs> so these are the reasons why the second house is called Maraka house. Because it is actually causing you a death-like scenario. All right. That doesn't mean it is killing you literally. It simply means, even if you are living, you are feeling as if you are dying, alright? That's the reason. And even financial responsibilities. Of course, it's all a part of the package. But finances, you have to work foaming in the mouth, yes? If you don't work, then nobody is going to give you money in this world to sustain, yes? <clears throat> so, you must work. 
and you have to work 18 hours sometimes 20 hours my god people i know people who are working 18 19 hours every day my god i don't know how how their body is functioning properly they are not getting sleep for more than 3 4 hours it's a very difficult scenario sometimes yes that is why the second house is actually called the marka house yes <coughs> and then which is the other house yes you are right the seventh house is the other house which is called the marka house which simply means that seventh house is the house of other people it is directly opposite of the ascendant yes ascendant is the first house and descendant is the seventh house so what it means when we say that seventh house is also a maraka it simply means that sometimes we may not be able to do things that we want because of other people yes because seventh house is that which is directly standing in front of us so it can either complement us or challenge us or oppose us now i am not saying that benefits in the seventh will always support or complement you which means the spouse will support you or complement you and malefics like saturn mars rahu ketu will deny you that they will give you challenges no that may be the case but i am not uh, saying that here i am saying anybody in the seventh house it can be seventh house is anybody who you meet on a day to day basis like now i am uh, meeting all of you for me you are the seventh house and for you i am the seventh house <laughs> so uh, that's how we see the seventh house right and because of that uh, we may not be able to do the things that we like or we may be facing opposition all the time so we feel as if even though we are existing but we can't do what we want so we f- we feel as if we are dying yes that is the reason and also seventh house is the house of the opposite sex and we also know the planet sun gets debilitated in libra yes and we always see this that when people stay too much in the company of the opposite sex then they sometimes become a person without any goal without any ambition without any dreams they are just like hovering around in the mental plane no uh, okay to damn with this girl to damn with that boy and then after 30 35 years you ask them oh my dear sir madam what are you doing in this world i don't know sometimes i feel like opening a hotel <laughs> so these are the statements uh, people give who are too much obsessed with the opposite sex when whenever opposite sex becomes the prime focus of anybody's life understand that the person is dying should i repeat whenever the opposite sex becomes the prime focus in somebody's life all right prime focus does means that your entire day is surrounded around the opposite sex all right like many people i know they will be thinking okay when can i meet this girl okay i'll meet her at 4 so maybe i should take lunch at 2 then maybe i should meet him at 5 that time which they will meet the girl is like that's like a border <laughs> everything is around that you see okay i'll do this i'll do that and then but that should not be hampered <laughs> and they will save money also to meet the opposite sex they will be like okay i have to save this money and for that they will they may uh, sometimes uh, use techniques like back borrow and steal they may speak lies yes so the opposite sex can make us helpless at times unless that opposite partner with whom we are associating is also in a spiritual journey like us spiritual journey means that that person is also interested in going close to god the way we are but for that there's a prerequisite first we have to be interested right <laughs> otherwise even if the other partner is interested it will not make any difference right because we are only stuck ourselves we only don't know where to go and seventh house is also the house of sexuality where we lose where a man loses the vital fluid the shukra the semen which has life yes and as per ayurveda one drop of semen has 64 drops of blood and there are seven dhatus now there's the skin bone fat marrow and all these things the seventh element it is called quintessence oh my god that's a very heavy word <laughs> quintessence means the best the purest form of any substance so the quintessence of blood is called semen so when a person uh goes to the seventh house that means when he indulges in sexual uh, union when in that he loses semen and by that most of the vital part of his body is gone that's not there with him yes <laughs> so then the body becomes very weak and everything goes down determination your will power your strength and there is so much reckless sexual indulgence going on in the kali yuga today so many people uh, they are watching things in the internet uh, pornography is rampant 
more than half of the entire internet is simply pornography there's nothing more than that i'm like and then sometimes we also have this experience that we take some determination but then our wife or our husband may say oh why are you doing like this is not good this is not correct na and then we will be like oh yeah i should think about it <laughs> so we may be forced to change our ideals or our beliefs by just just because we are so much attached or we are so much helpless in their company now that's not bad that can strengthen us also but in most of the cases i have seen people like i have some friends in india <laughs> like one of my friend is in bangalore so is thinking to do mba masters of business administration if i'm not wrong mba right but his girlfriend doesn't allow him to yes because his girlfriend says no no you will go away from me i can't tolerate that and this person is so helpless he is just uh, sitting like uh, see he is sitting like a pumpkin there in bangalore even if he wants to do mb but he is not doing it why oh my girlfriend will be displeased that is why i am not doing so it's like it's like death for him yes if he would have done mb he would have been in a much better position because he is a very intelligent person and he can do mb and he wants to do that yes not everybody who does an mba will have a better life but he wants to do it and he knows if i want i can do it and i will do very good there but still he can't do it <laughs> so it's like he is dying there yes now the girlfriend is not forcing him but he doesn't want to displease her so he is helplessly dependent on her you see because if she gets displeased this person doesn't have anything else to hold on to in his world if something happens to his girlfriend this person will die that's what some of my other friends have told me that if something happens to this girl then this person our best friend he will commit suicide he can't stay so there you see when there is too much obsession in the seventh house you feel like dying now you understand why the sun gets debilitated in libra and why the sun sets in the seventh house all right that is it from my side short explanation on the marka houses and one of the remedies which is suggested in the scriptures about the marka houses is when marka houses get active by dasha i have not discussed about dasha now but dasha basically means a time period where a particular planet in your chart gets activated and that becomes the prime focus of your life there are injunctions in the scriptures which says that you should uh, start chanting the mahamrityunjay mantra त्र्यंबकम यजाही सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन कुरबालुकम वंदना मृत्युर्मोक्षीयृत सो दिस इज दि महामृत्युंजय मंत्र विच इज दि संजीवनी मंत्र ऑफ वीनस यस महामृत्युंजय इज द मंत्र विच इज चैंटेड इन ऑडियंस टू लॉर्ड शिवा बिकॉज लॉर्ड शिवा वॉज द वन हू गेव दि संजीवनी संजीवनी मीन्स इट्स लाइक रिवाइवल ऑफ डेथ revival of those who have died so shukracharya who is venus which represents semen because what happens when you impregnate a woman with your semen if you are a man then you give new life to somebody right so semen has the power to expand life from your body to somebody else and then that gives new life form it's like you have expanded or extended you have revived yourself right you again feel young when you see your child <laughs> so this mantra has to be chanted of course uh, that has to be only seen uh, depending on other positions of the horoscope and depending on the overall combinations which planets are sitting there but in general i have given a remedy because when the mark houses get active all right then you may feel as if you are dying <laughs> because too much responsibility or too much indulgence in sexuality can come all right these are just uh, overall indications don't just take this for a blind answer that okay this will happen with me that will happen with me all right and there's nothing called like death or you will die i mean physically <laughs> that may happen due to some other reason but that doesn't mean uh, maraka in this context okay in this context maraka means something completely different all right so if you are interested in knowing what will happen in these time periods of these planets and if you want a personal consultation then you can uh, go to my website vedic renaissance and book a consultation with me and if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it yet then please subscribe to it 
and if you like this video click the thumbs up and please share this video with those people who are in fear in morbid fear created by some unworthy people quoting themselves as astrologers who do not know what marka is okay so as the rishis see they feel these two houses are like death yes second house and seventh house about which i just explained all right so there you go marka houses controversy explained all right if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know in the comment section or else good luck when the time period of your marka planets come okay see you bye bye